Okay, so in this part we are going to create a data source uh, type load by script uh, and we are going to use uh, one part of the script that we have in flow designer uh, that you can find in the code snippet and uh, the rest of the script which is uh, basically it's going to allow us to put all the data into our staging table not our target table our target table it's it's a COVID-19 cases table that we have created in the beginning but before putting the data into the target table we have to put it into an intermediate table uh, that's what we call here a staging table so let's create our data source now so look for data source click on create give it a title here so I'm going to for example put get historical data input data source and then give a label for your input set table this is our staging table the intermediate table on the so get in story called data input staging table and then the type it's going to be load by script so custom load by script and here we, we are going to have the code uh, that we have in the code snippet in flow designer okay so you can see the image that I'm going to that you will have in the resource section in order to find how you can find the code snippet. Okay, this is the first part of the code, and we have a input for example here India, and we and the second line here for outputs is basically we are calling the flow designer, and then we have the output. Okay, so we have created right now our uh, data source. So we don't need any more the value India in our flow designer here. So we can take that out from here, and then because we have it in our script, okay. Let's save it and publish it. So it is highly important to have the action to be published if you want to use it in a script. Okay. Now. Uh, we are going to basically create a loop here the same way we have created the loop in uh, in our script in flow designer to loop in the response body you know to access all the values we are we are going to do exactly the same thing instead of we are looping here in the country summary array that we have that the output variable so i'm creating here a for loop and the loop it will go until i mean go until the length it will loop until the the for the full length of the country summary array okay so <clears throat> so we have var i equal to zero i smaller than country summary dot length for the entire length of the country summary array I plus plus so this is our loop so inside our loop what we are going to have first is I'm going to just create some variables where I would like to store all the information that we are going to get for example confirmed cases uh, dead cases date country so on so each one for each one we will have one variable and each variable we will we will be accessing uh, the values that we need uh, using the uh, country summary array. So var total confirmed will be equal to con country summary. So this is our array dot confirmed. Okay. So this, if you remember, in the when we were creating our array country summary in the action outline the output variable we had confirmed as one of the uh, variable there so we do the same thing for the rest total recover total death for country for death okay so for everything we are accessing the values in this way and uh, once we have done that we are going to create an object called map okay this object will have uh, like um, name value pairs so u underscore total confirmed for, for example 
we'll have the value of total confirmed variable that we have just created before okay so we will do the same thing for every other variable so we will have u underscore total recovered u underscore total death u new country u underscore death a uh, date sorry so in this way we are actually these uh, name u, u underscore total underscore confirm this is the database sorry the field name for our uh, staging table so all the fields that we are going to have in our staging table will have the uh, this specific field name okay and the field label so it's going to be u underscore underscore sorry u underscore total underscore confirm u underscore total underscore recover u underscore total underscore death u underscore location u underscore date so these are the fields that we will have in our staging table not our target table so we are not going out of the loop what we are doing right now immediately so we have taken the values we have created the map object and then we are going to insert for each iteration we have to create a row in our import set table which will actually create a one record and will which will have all the information and then it will go for the second iteration and it will create the second record so here we the syntax for that is import underscore set underscore table and then insert map okay so insert parentheses and you have the map out there save all of this so that's all you need to do in order to retrieve um, data for one country we will see later how we can get data for all countries it's not complicated so click on here just we are going to test uh, if it is going to work or not so click on test uh, load 20 records and see what's going to happen okay so we have a success message so we have a 20 insert so let's click on import set to see uh, uh, to see our import set and also see all the records that we have so click on import set row tab and these are the records that we have in our staging table so you can select any records that you want and see the result so I'm going to select one for example you can see for India there is the summary for 18th February and you have the number of cases that's it thank you for watching